making sure you know uh, everything that we need is provided. So it's up to us to pay back, to make him happy, and the whole nation, you know, happy. And uh, most importantly, I um, want to thank you for all you, the support you have showed us to now. We you know it's going to be a, a difficult task ahead of us. It's a, a huge tournament, um, but we are ready. We know what is. <laughs> we know what is ahead of us. We, we we are going to Dubai to prepare to work very hard, and um, we know that only victory makes our people smile. So we are going to make sure that we bring victory to to our country. Our number one citizen to realize that we possessed something. That's something that put us on the world map. Is slipping through our hands. And that let me call and find out what I can do. And as all the speakers before me have said, he has made available the resources that we all believe will be helpful. But the resources alone cannot deliver the cup. The black stars will deliver the cup. But in our own culture, the family structure and the belief, the spiritual belief we have, it is important that every Ghanaian citizen also focuses positively with your spiritual strength to support them in what they are going to do in the land of the pharaohs. I know they will bring victory back to Ghana. So, President, every decision that we have taken, we have involved the leadership of the team. Every single decision, we involved the team, your leadership. So, per your instruction, everything is going smoothly. So, the team is, of course, peaceful. The team is united for the task ahead of us. Thirty million Ghanaians are behind you and praying feverishly that the 37-year wait since we last won the cup will come to an end this year. There are two things I want to leave with you. You have to respect unreservedly the authority of the coach and the authority of the captain. That's basic rules non-negotiable rules. You have to respect the authority of the coach and the authority of the captain. If you don't do it, everybody will be going in their different ways. You do that, you cement the, co the teamwork and you become a cohesive and forceful force. I have no doubt that you are amongst the best players on the continent of Africa. Ghanaian football is at the very heart time and among some of the best players in the world. So, your slogan, that's the slogan of the year, the year of return. This indeed is the year of return. It's my intention to come and watch your first match on the 25th of June. I'm going to come to Egypt to come and see you play. And if with God's grace, which I believe will, he will give us, you make the final. I'm going to come there as well to come and watch and bring you all the support of the entire nation. So, 
we wish you the very best of luck. And hopefully the next time we see each other, it will be in good times again for Ghanaian football. You deserve it. I know that you are ready and primed for it. So go out there and let our people also be happy. They've been mourning for too long. And the time has now come to lift their spirits and bring the cup home. Here, it will come, you come here again to Jubilee House. Thank you. May God bless you.